All right, so I'm really excited to bring you guys a video on this pair of sneakers right here. This is the Adidas Terex Free Hiker Cold Ready, and it's a mouthful, but this is a really, really nice sneaker boot. And it really is just one of those boot sneakers that is just a fun one to be able to add to the collection. Thank you to Adidas for sending me these. I didn't even know they were sending them. I got a random care package with these and a crazy, crazy big down winter jacket. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts about this shoe right here and let you guys know some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't like about this shoe. What is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys haven't used my website, basically I just curate a bunch of sneaker deals for you guys, post them on the web, and hopefully you guys can find some good stuff out there. But this video, I wanted to show you guys this shoe again. Terex Free Hiker Cold Ready. Now the original Terex Free Hiker has had like a nice cult following on its own. If you guys have tried the Terex Free Hiker, drop a comment in the comment section. What are the things you like or dislike about the Free Hiker? I think this is a tremendous pair of sneakers right here, or sneaker boot if you're gonna call it that. It's a really comfortable one and I like the style and design of these. And it's just one of those sneakers that has really pretty decent stability considering how much cushioning is in the midsole. Now I beat these ones up, wore these a ton, washed these a bunch in the washing machine. I pulled like 11, I think 11 shrubs from my backyard with these shoes. It was insane. I can't believe I actually was able to do it. Got a couple snags in the, the prime knit here and there, but uh, but these have been through it and back. And basically I brought them back to life with Rejuvenator, really easy to do. If you guys haven't used Rejuvenator sneaker cleaning products, highly recommend you doing so. This video is gonna be sponsored by Rejuvenator. So big shout out to Rejuvenator. They're a long-term sponsor of this channel. There's a bunch of different products that I really enjoy. And if you guys actually have some from their website that you guys want to see reviews on, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll reach out to them and get those products and do a review on them. But my favorite thing is the signature kit. Basically it has everything you need to give these a deep clean inside and out. You have the three brushes and the sneaker cleaning solution and you can rub down the shoe, scrub it down really, really good. Different types of materials use different types of brushes. Obviously the, the bottoms you use the harder bristles and the tops of the prime knit use a softer bristle, but you scrub it down really good. But the best part of the signature kit is you use shoe trees, put them in the shoe, you take the laces out, put them in the sneaker pouch, in the sneaker bag, throw them in the wash and give them a deep clean. And that's how you really get them clean inside and out. And sometimes you just scrub it on the surface. It's just like washing dishes in your sink versus washing them in your dishwasher. You know the dishwasher is gonna do better after you hand wash all the, the extra crud off versus you just washing it and then putting it in, you know what I mean? The, the dishwasher does better, the washing machine just does better. So the signature kit is definitely a really nice selling point. But the reason why I wanted to mention in this video is because I was beyond impressed with what the water repellent spray did to these shoes. Now I don't know all of the sneaker materials that you can and cannot use water repellent spray. I wanna say you can't use it on like patent leather, but reference Rejuvenator's website for the materials. It works wonders on this shoe though. I actually tried these out and tested it myself. After washing them a bunch, it kind of lost that water resistance on the shoe, which these were supposed to be water repellent. Then, and this isn't the Gore-Tec version, this is a regular one, but then I dump water on it and I can just literally see the water just absorb into the knit. And it was just like, it was like no repellency at all. It just goes bloop right into the, the, the shoe. So I was like, oh, this kind of not good anymore. But what I ended up doing was using that water repellent spray, letting them sit for a day and then tried it again. And you could see the beads of water beat up on the prime knit. And it brought it right back to that water repellent state that it was supposed to be in uh, from the uh, the birth of the shoe. So really, really good product as well. Highly recommended. And if you guys are interested in shopping at Rejuvenator, check the link in the description. It is my uh, referral link. So it lets them know that you guys went shopping with my link, which is much appreciated. And it gives me a little bit of cred with the company, but it also helps support the channel. So much appreciated. But anyway, brought these back to life with that Rejuvenator. But as I was saying, the cult following on these are really, really strong. You hardly see these at discount, like deep discount, more than like 140 or so. Retail is 220 and 250 for the Gore-Tec version. But now you have like the mag daddy of them all. This is like the brand new version of this sneaker boot and it's definitely more of a boot. You can see it's a higher collar on uh, this one right here. Then it does have a bunch of crazy tech uh, on this one. It does say Gore-Tec right here and it does say Terex. It also says that it's insulated on this side. There's a lot of fused material going on here, a little bit more than on the regular Terex Free Hiker. So I pulled up the website to talk about these a little bit. It says it's a lightweight and warm shoe for comfort on the long hikes. Hiking in cold or winter scenarios had never been so nice. The Adidas 
Tarek's free hiker shoe was specifically designed for their ultimate comfort for long hikes. Its sock-like prime knit upper paired with cold ready technology and water repellent insulation fits snugly around the foot for a comfortable warm fit. In addition, thanks to the waterproof Gore-Tex membrane, even difficult wet conditions are no problem. Some of the highlights, it says cold ready keeps you warm. Cold ready layering system means hard working materials that lock in the heat while mesh keeps air and moisture moving. Stay ready whatever the weather. Continental grip, a winter specific continental rubber and lug profile for the ultimate winter grip. Sock like cushioning and comfort. You'll be comfortable on long hikes thanks to the boost cushioning technology providing maximum energy return in every step while the laceless sock like prime knit construction offers stretch and support together. The Gore-Tex Duratherm technology combines a waterproof membrane with a winter specific insulated lining. No matter what keeps you moving, you can rely on this proven technology to keep you dry no matter what. Anyway, that helps clarify a couple things. The cold ready feature is Adidas way of keeping your feet warm. The Gore-Tex helps you keep your feet dry. The Adidas Boost technology in the midsole definitely has that comfort. And then the lugs of continental rubber on the bottom helps you grip uh, while you're hiking around. So one of the things that I like is the fact that it is laceless. You can just slip this shoe on and then zip it up and go. And I have a little bit of a wider foot, so getting it over the hump right here can be a little bit tricky uh, for myself. So if you don't wear really thick socks, which you don't really need to do because these do keep your feet pretty warm, uh, you can get these up and down pretty easily, even with my like wider feet. But that's one problem. If you have extra wide feet, this is gonna be hard to zip up all the way. Stylistically though, I don't know, like sometimes I like to not wear them up all the way. However, functionally, if I'm gonna be wearing these out in the rain, like they're a little bit dirty because I went to the mailbox with the kids and it was raining and I'm, I, I don't know why they wanted to go outside in, in the rain, but uh, but I'm splishing and splashing around and so they're getting a little bit muddy. But ultimately I chose to zip up all the way uh, for that. But the lockdown on the fit is really good without the laces even. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with that. The other thing is because of the extra strap on the back, as well as the heel counter like coming up so high, the stability in these are actually really good as well. The pull tab on the back is actually really functional. It's really easy to grab there. It would be nice to actually have a pull tab on the tongue. That is one complaint. I wish they had one here that you can use to be able to pull up. But you do have a little bit of a peak on the tongue right here, which is easy to grab, but a pull tab would have made it a little bit nicer. Any which way, you just grab both of these, slip it on, zip up, and you're good to go. As for the Gore-Tex on these, it's really, really good. I mean, the water just beads up and falls right off your feet. There's so much fused material across uh, the shoe and even on the upper sections that really these things are really water resistant. In fact, I just left them running under my sink and it just, water just falls right off like a little waterfall. But as I mentioned with these, if you wash these a lot in the washing machine and it loses some of that uh, waterproofedness, if that's the word, uh, I use that rejuvenator spray. It's gonna bring these right back. It's gonna be really, really nice. Uh, so definitely know that you can keep that waterproof uh, feel with these uh, after you wash these quite a bit as well. As for the overall style of this one, I mean, it's a huge boot. You could see the difference in the collar height. I like the fact that it's more of like a sneaker boot versus like this one, which is more like a trail shoe in a sense. Uh, I, it definitely is more definitive because of how high of a collar this one is. It looks really cool. I mean, I really dig the look of it, but it's not gonna be something that everybody looks at and goes, wow, that's amazing. Just because uh, of not having a tongue or laces, it just adds a different dynamic to the shoe. But functionality wise, it's definitely like an A plus if you're wanting something that has a waterproof feel. My only other complaint other than not having a pull tab on the tongue is I wish there was a way that you can actually wear them with the uh, the shroud, I guess, down a little bit. So I kind of played with it a little bit and pulled this back down and see if I could wear it like half staff sort of thing. I think it looks better uh, than all the way up to be honest, but it would be nice if there was like a functional way to like bend it down or do something to make it so it was like a hybrid. So you could wear it like the boot because it's really protective and warm but then also you could like break it down and make it look a little bit more stylish. I wish there was a way to do something like that, but it doesn't take away from the greatness of what the shoe offers. These retail at $250 and they're sold out as of now on Adidas website. Hopefully they'll get them back in because a lot of people were really interested in this shoe. And honestly, I really like this colorway a lot too. It's just mostly triple black, but there's that little accent of orange uh, through the shoe. And obviously I'm a huge black and orange fan, an Oregon State alumni. Uh, so I definitely like uh, the black and orange there. Also, while I do have you guys here, I do have a couple other options for water resistant sneakers from Adidas. This one, if you guys remember this one, the ATR, I think this one was the mid top version. This one, oh, there's looks like some dirt or poop almost on the bottom of here. I pulled these straight out of the garage. This was a great shoe. This is another one that I need to hit with that rejuvenator spray because it's not water resistant anymore. It wasn't really waterproof, but water resistant. Really like the style of this one though. It was one that 
uh, kind of sat on shelves. A lot of people weren't really loving this one, but I thought this one was a great. It's almost like the Ultra Boost Mid. And then you have this version of an All Terrain uh, Ultra Boost, which was really good too. Like this is another sleeper, one that a lot of people like sat on, and this one was available for pretty cheap. I mean, I, I think eighty dollars at one point. I posted these ones for this one. Definitely has a nice water repellent upper on here as well, and they do run a little bit snug though. So I would recommend going up a half of a size. Uh, mine is true to size, and of course it is a little bit snug, like I said. But really, it's a great version of an Ultra Boost with some added traction on the bottom of the shoe. But one thing I wanted to call as the traction on the Terex Free Hiker is much, much more aggressive uh, than even on this Ultra Boost terrain. And it's actually a revised version of the traction on the Terex Free Hiker as well, so it's actually a better version of traction uh, than on here. And it does say winter grip on it. And the last one, which is a great option for somebody that wants more of a sneaker version of like a water resistant shoe. This is a really, really good one. This is the Ultra Boost 20 Cold Ready. And it does say Cold Ready here. And I believe this is, I don't know if it's Gore-Tec, but it does say water repellent on the shoe. It's a very water repellent pair of sneakers. I love the fact that you have the lace pull here to tighten the laces. So it's a little bit different than a regular Ultra Boost. It is a little bit snug right around the collar here to get on, but this is nice material around uh, the collar also. It has like a wet seal sort of feel around this little ankle area. You do have some winter grip traction on the bottom of here as well. So this is a really good one uh, in my opinion, one that I definitely highly recommend for just a water resistant pair of sneakers. All in all, this one's gonna keep your feet the most dry out of all of them, I think though. Like just the Gore-Tec, and even though it's more expensive than all the rest, just the overall design, there's not really any areas for water to be seeping in through the shoe. Unlike some of the Ultra Boost, there's some areas where water can kind of seep in the sides, but these things are pretty good, man. That That's kind of a long-winded video, but I uh, wanted to give these a little bit of shine because this is a really fun pair of sneakers. And big shout out to Adidas again for sending these over. I, I Whoever is the one that sent these, I appreciate you guys. I think they are the same people that sent this one over as well, though. So you guys rock, man. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to buy a pair, I'll try to link them again in the description. I'll link them into the open market, but I'll also link Adidas' site. So hopefully they'll end up coming back in stock. And again, if you want to shop at Rejuvenator's website, pick up that signature kit. You can get it for a gift for a friend, family, or whatever as well. And then that Rejuvenator water repellent spray, super, super good. Highly recommend that as well. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated. If you guys liked the video and it was informative, drop a like on the video. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. And hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos. Peace, guys.